Now, the Israel Space Agency and NASA have signed a joint statement of intent to collaborate on the Space IL Bereshit 2 lunar mission. What does this mean for space research and collaboration? Our correspondent Jody Cohen was at the 18th annual Ramon International Space Conference in Tel Aviv where the announcement was made. Take a look. The International Space Conference, named after Israeli astronaut Ilan Ramon, who died 20 years ago in the Columbia shuttle disaster, gathered for the first time since COVID-19. The conference was opened by Israel's President Herzog. And the statement of intent on the Bereshit 2 lunar mission was signed in front of the 700-strong audience, representing over a dozen countries, including India, and the heads of nine space agencies. Bereshit 2 builds on the first ever private spacecraft to fly to the moon. It's expected to lift off in mid-2025. I spoke exclusively with Kfir Damari, co-founder of Space IL, about the aims of the second mission. We are really happy and thrilled that we are announcing a partnership with NASA regarding the Bereshit 2 mission. The Bereshit 2 mission is a spacecraft that is going to go to the moon in mid-2025 and carry on a few experiments. Uh, today we are announcing uh, the possibility that NASA will also put an experiment on the spacecraft and also support the mission on its way. Over two million schoolchildren were involved in the first mission and Bereshit 2 will serve as the first ever worldwide interactive space education system. We're aiming that the mothership that we thank the two lenders will also be a platform for educational work where millions of children will uh, participate in conducting science. I also spoke with Professor Dan Bloomberg, chairman of the Israel Space Agency, about the wider benefits of collaboration on space research for finding potential solutions to climate challenges. Truly the only way to look at Earth objectively and at large areas is from space. That gives us the ability to take measurements irrespective of our boundaries and borders, looking at changes, environmental changes, changes in the ocean, changes in the land and in vegetation growth. And therefore, space is a great mechanism to try and understand how the climate of planet Earth is changing over time. The Israel Space Agency NASA agreement on Space IL's Bereshit 2 mission is said to have implications for the world. It means greater cooperation on space, potentially one step closer to commercial flights and to tracking what's going on here on Earth in a bid to help find solutions to the climate crisis. This is Jody Cohen for WEON, World as One. WEON is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.